This Singapore startup wants to help you manage your healthcare data. Its system allows access and portability. We are a solutions company. Vault Dragon is hoping to sell its system in three new cities, each with unique challenges. Sometimes we have no electricity for three four hours. And what challenges lie ahead as Vault Dragon takes on a government-level project? It's basically capability and designing your incentives. This brand, it's invisible. Three goals in three months. Vault Dragon takes on the Ventrepreneur's Challenge. Patients at a clinic rarely think about the system that allows the whole consultation process to go smoothly. Often, it is due to a system behind the scenes like the one produced by Vault Dragon. Hello, hi Sally, hi, I'm Dr. D. Vault Dragon is a digital health solution company. We offer uh, anywhere from patient management, case note management, inventory management, billing, invoicing. Okay. Okay. Subsequently, we provide business intelligence or like a data dashboard. The management will be able to just by looking at the charts, be able to say that what are some of the levers we can pull to improve the clinic efficiency and profitability. For Vault Dragon founder Ching, the company mission has its roots in his family history. Vault Dragon actually started off as a logistics tech company and we had a field expansion into Hong Kong. So when we came back, we think about uh, what we really want to do. Then that brings me back to when I was about 13 years old. My mom was diagnosed with uh, breast cancer. The doctor actually uh, recommended a uh, second opinion, but most of the medical records are on paper, so there's no good way for a patient to carry their medical record uh, from one healthcare institution to another. So that drove me to do healthcare because it can actually make a real impact on people's life. Stepping into the Vault Dragon office in Singapore, it's clear how the team sees itself. We believe as a superhero inside everyone. My superhero is uh, Groot. <laughs> so as you can see here, uh, these are the five uh, Vault Dragon values. We actually hire for the values and we fire because some of the actions are in direct conflict uh, with Vault Dragon's value. Vault Dragon has a strong core team in Singapore. It also has a lucrative foothold in Shanghai. Since 2017, it grew from just about 5% to about 30% of all of Bo Dragon's revenue. We have a three-man business development team. It took us about a year and a half to localize the local language as well as the local regulations. For example, in Singapore, the receptionist or the nurse could uh, dispense the medication on behalf of the doctor. But in China, only licensed pharmacists can dispense medication. Vault Dragon is now eyeing a project in Batam, an Indonesian island near Singapore. Batam this clinic is our first deployment in Indonesia. Aesthetics clinic treatments are a choice, so people tend to be a lot more selective. Because of this, uh, aesthetic clinics are generally a bit more willing to invest uh, in the technology. Vault Dragon is also moving into Thailand. The first project is at Erkachai Hospital near Bangkok, and Vault Dragon will work with a partner. So now that we have that Erkachai proof of concept project, mm -hmm. then do you think it's time for us to establish a formal partnership and do some local hiring? And we also need to do a bit more market research. So like one of the interesting things I realized is that the Thai year is the Buddhist, the Buddhist calendar. And sometimes they expect that it has to be the Buddhist calendar. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we have to be able to support that. As we move forward, like, what do you think uh, the name of our partnership should be? So I still sort of like having digital in the digital. name. My Thai connection is my wife is Thai, so I have been going to Thailand over uh, decades. There is a desire to change, have modern systems. I think Thailand is, uh, is a good opportunity for this. The Vault Dragon team is also excited about a potential expansion to Brunei. So this is the proposed solution architecture to the Brunei Ministry of Health. For the first time, they'll have a chance to do business on a government level. 
feel like the Brunei market because the vision of Blue Dragon is to digitize um, like a, like end-to-end -end, uh, uh, patient journey for like the entire population. The National Healthcare Project was recommended by their investor, Golden Equator. The CEO of the Brunei Economic Development Board was sharing the interest in attracting companies that would appreciate um, rolling out technologies across the entire country for them. So that's when I thought of Bot Dragon. From private clinics to government-level opportunities, a conversation with another Vault Dragon investor uncovers the challenges Ching could face. I heard you guys are heading to Brunei. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, maybe give me some context. Brunei has a national healthcare uh, system. There are challenges in user uh, kind of adopting the system. We'll be given the medical centers to prove that our system can be used to reskin. And okay. where are you in the process? We're at a proof of concept. Okay. Uh, stage. So it's a joint project, I guess, or it's joint delivery? Or joint, joint delivery. So, uh, so we, it actually took us some time to work out, like, so what is Bull Dragon's role? Yep. Uh, what, is, what are their roles? Uh, how do we build trust? And how do we split the responsibility, risk, the compensation? This is not the first time we've worked with a local partner. It's basically capability and designing your incentives so that both sides feel they have something to gain, right? Yes. Because if it's it one side, if it's sense. more towards you, eventually they will try to figure out a way to yes. you know, yes. do it themselves. I think both sides may or may not know is how decisions are made at the government level. But it is a big enough opportunity to go ahead. A busy time for Ching. He's heading to three different cities to roll out three different types of services. Can Vault Dragon satisfy all their customers? They have started requesting for a lot of things that they think they can be optimized for their hospital operation. Vault Dragon is a digital health company based in Singapore. It's planning to expand to three cities. Vault Dragon's founder, Ching, currently single-handedly manages all overseas operations. The average age of the team is probably about uh, 33 to 36. And uh, most of uh, my team members are married. I became the only one that's single and available to launch uh, in different cities. However, with plans to expand into even more cities, a one-man show might not be sustainable. Vault Dragon needs local staff. We are looking for a business development person that can help us to expand the Thai market. It has to be somebody independent who can work on their own, self-motivated. Ching and Andreas, his partner in Thailand, have shortlisted three candidates for interviews. So we are going for the, sort of like the Thai market now. What is the market like? In Thailand, hospitals still use paper to see the doctor. Mm -hmm. At least you need to spend 30 minutes or 45 minutes. Ching has favourite interview questions. Describe your ideal workplace. What are your top uh, goals for the next one year, both professionally and personally? Yeah, then the third one, can you describe like, maybe one case that you're working on okay. and uh, that's really challenging? I just uh, sincere to the customer. A month later, Long, the selected candidate, arrives in Singapore for training. So um, today, we'll be actually going through the system and the clinic workflow for Eka Chai. Long has just one week to master two of Vault Dragon's services, Dragon Hub and Dragonfly. These are the services Vault Dragon will be deploying to their first hospital in Thailand, Eka Chai Hospital. So are you ready to train Eka Chai on yeah. this? I'm confident we... While the core team in Singapore solves technical issues remotely, Ching has to personally deal with software deployment. Ching's first stop, Bangkok. So there are three parts to the training and deployment. Um, one for the registration counter, where they will create patient, as well as to digitize paper-based medical records. Okay. For the second piece, we are going to uh, do the training for the nurses. And for the third piece, it will actually be for the doctors in their consultation room. Hey, long we are here. That's the Eka Chai Hospital. 
we have approximately 600 patients per day. Right now, we use the HIS system, Hospital Information System. We don't have any queuing system. We still use the paper and the nurse to walk around each department to transfer the paper. I aim to reduce the cost of the hospital and the waiting time for the patient. Vault Dragon is going to let the Ekachai team test the clinic management system, Dragon Hub. But first, all paper medical documents have to be digitized to Vault Dragon's cloud system. Next, Vault Dragon installs a test version of Dragon Hub. Dragon Hub is a clinic management system that integrates and transfers data across different stations in the hospital. At this station, nurses will key patients' vitals into the Dragon Hub system. This will be updated real time for the doctors in the consultation rooms. The last step and largest hurdle convincing doctors to switch from paper to Vault Dragon's app, Dragonfly. แต่ว่าในแง่ของการจัดเก็บข้อมูลในการในการเลคคอร์ดนะครับอาจารย์ลำบากหรือเปล่าครับพี่ผมไม่แน่ใจอันนี้ผมต้องตรงๆคือไม
normally. With the other projects on track, what happened to the highly anticipated deal in Brunei? And is Vault Dragon on the right track when it comes to branding the company? Here's my advice for you. Mm -hmm. And I think that will be your ticket to the future. Vault Dragon focuses on making healthcare data accessible and portable. But is it on the right path with its branding as it expands? We're going to a clinic where Vault Dragon software is being used. I will pretend to be a patient and see what it's like. Hello, hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. Thank you. So maybe I can see a doctor first to recommend what I should do. Okay. I think we need to have uh, a big finger here on the IV. Okay. And then we are going to do the autopsy here. Okay. Let's start. So we're going to the treatment room. Okay. Thank you. So guys, I've just went through the whole process mm -hmm. from a patient or a customer point of view. Sure. Uh, so obviously I looked behind the screen. Mm -hmm. Your system is a software, right? Yes. It's not so visible. So how do you brand an invisible system? Our kind of like beach and market actually shifted over the years. Instead of a product, we are a digital health solution. We uh, don't push you like anything. We try to understand what's your workflow and what your needs. So how is this system special? Our system is entirely mobile. And second thing is it is actually designed to mimic the experience of a paper. So uh, what you uh, experienced just now is maybe just doctors doodling on the picture. So you're picking them up where they're coming from. Yes. And you're allowing them to keep some of the traits and some yes. of the behaviors. Which is very that important to them. Okay. Yeah. And so those are not present in the US or in Europe. In terms of the system, I think we are uh, probably the first, if not the only one uh, in Southeast Asia to be able to do uh, offline deployment that you have seen in this clinic. Yeah. So your brand promise, mm -hmm. part of the brand promise, I mm -hmm. guess, is that data is safe with you. Right, so the vault is supposed to give you the safe yeah. brand promises. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Dragon, so the Chinese way is the end-to-end -end service. Okay. So your brand promise is beginning to end, beginning to end and very safe. Here's my advice for you. Mm -hmm. You need to make sure it's your brand. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows the name, and uh, people understand the name, they can relate to it, and I think that will be your ticket to the future. In three months, Vault Dragon has ventured into three new cities and launched two new products. It's time to map out the next step. In Thailand, Long is preparing to pitch to more clinics. This is my first clinic I'm gonna pitch, and after this, uh, I have my plan at least uh, in three months, I will pitch at least 300 over clinics. For our future plans in China, it will actually be some of the business intelligence solutions that we are proposing and providing to the medical groups over there. And we're already looking at some of the salespeople profile that it's uh, in Patam. Yeah, so when the system has taken off, it's stabilized, we know that it works, it can be repeatable, then the BD team will come in uh, to market. Ching and Jeffrey also meet again. Jeffrey is one of Vault Dragon's investors, and he is keen to find out more about Vault Dragon's potential move to government level clients. When you came to visit us uh, at our office, we at the time we had planned for the Brunei POC to go ahead, the local government, like sometimes because of the layers of uh, decision making process uh, and like stakeholders involved, yep. it can you know, take some time. Still talking, still negotiating, still, negotiating, uh, still trying to find the time. So uh, amongst all these cities, deployments and different types of customers, any, any challenges? Besides China, I think the, like Batam as well as like Thailand, the language barrier is definitely real. But moving forward, we are also on track to close maybe two more chains 
yeah, in Thailand, uh, aesthetics. They love the fact that we have actually have a presence in uh, China. Yeah, because like, since a couple of years ago, uh, Ch Chinese uh, patients, a lot of them coming in here. So we already have a Chinese version of our entire system. And the fact that we have that patient app, for the Chinese patient, I can even continue to engage them when they're back in China. This is uh, like the first time we actually see like, being regional help with that pitching. Cool. So what, what are your future plans on product as in uh, geography wise? I think uh, geography-wise, at least for the next uh, like 12 to 18 months, we are pretty happy like, where we are. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course in Singapore, continuing relationship with enterprises and closing more uh, medical groups mm -hmm. and uh, potentially working with uh, banks, working with insurance company. At some point, you do need to have like a head of sales in different cities. Yeah, I think just, just make sure that you hire properly as you go. Mm -hmm especially when you're deployed, right? that's more important now. Coming back to the office, like, for me, it really feels like coming home. Huh? Because, you know, like, uh, things can get really tough when I'm like, uh, waking up in the hotel room, uh, sometimes in Brunei, sometimes in uh, Indonesia, sometimes in Thailand, and sometimes in Shanghai. I would say it has been uh, quite a big I can really see that everyone really putting heart and soul in making uh, me to work. Within three months, we not only uh, launched a new product in China, we will also made inroads into two new regional markets. But uh, the local team actually on the ground, making sure that all these deployments, all these offline events, promotion, all the training, uh, actually all the credit belong to them. Yes, it just enjoy tonight and go dragon. Yes. Yes.